Hey YouTube, it's your boy Dolly. I'm out here in Ruckersville, Virginia, and I'm on another case. This is the uh, case of Jake Fallfetter. He's 31 years old. He lives in this area with his family, and he came up missing out here. So I came out here to do a little searching today, did a little bit of drone flying. Bad news, guys. I crashed the drone. Didn't destroy it, but it needs a little bit of work. Okay, as you see behind me, this road, it ends and it turns into a gravel road. Well, at the end of this gravel road is where they found Jake's car, okay? Now, I met with some of his family and stuff out here, and they, they believe something bad has happened to Jake. It's not like him to disappear. Now, the locals believe that he may be running around here somewhere that he... He's not missing. I don't know. It seems to be a little odd, a little strange. But for a man not to contact his family or nothing like that, seems a little odd. We're going to take a little journey down this road. And I'm going to show you what I can because where the car was actually found is private property. And right now, they're still trying to get permission to search that piece of property. And as soon as they do, we'll be able to go on to that property. But right now, they don't have permission to search it. You can see the little horses behind me. Um, but whoever took this car back here knew this place was here, okay? And I'm going to show you guys exactly why. This is off the cut. Like, if you didn't know this was here, you would never find this place. So, let's take a little ride. Now, from my understanding, there was no camera at any of these houses. Okay, now here's where we get back here a little ways. This is just a little aerial view of the road that Jake went missing on. Now, this is where you see me stop the car and it goes forward. Now, this is private property. That's why I could not drive on this property. Now, I did drone over a lot of this property. But the only problem with that, guys, was like I said, I had a little drone crash. And I forgot to hit save on the video. And the video file is corrupt. So I didn't get the footage, but I got to look around a lot out there. I actually scanned around the lake. You know, there was uh, 12 teams out there searching this area. So next time I go back, I'm going to try to search areas that was not searched by the search crew. So I will be back out there. I'm not going to release the exactly when because I don't want people showing up in places that I'm at. But I will let you guys know for sure. So, like I said, this was just a little shot when I first got there. Most of the footage, when I wrecked the drone, which the drone is not broke. It just broke a propeller, which I ordered new ones. So, they're on the way. So, everything is good to go.
Now, as you see, this was his last location. I'm still on wheel drop. This is the road where Jake went missing. I find it funny because as soon as you turn onto this road, the first thing you see, right? And I just wanted to show you this, right? I don't know how good these signs do, but it says, warning, neighborhood watch, um, report suspicious activity. The crazy thing is, None of these cameras, none of these houses out through here have cameras, okay? So you really ain't catching nothing. I mean, if you see something, you could possibly report it, but nothing was caught on camera. So Jake came down this road, his car came down this road. There is some trail cameras and there probably is some stuff the police know a little more than we know right now, or well, at least I know. Well, and I've spoke with the family and I, I pretty much know what they know. Um, still a lot of unanswered questions. Did he come back here and drop this car off or did somebody else come back here and drop this car off? Hopefully, I'm praying that he dropped this car off and he's off somewhere and he's just trying to lay low for some reason we don't know about. If that's not the case, then I feel like something bad has happened to Jake. But we're gonna keep looking for Jake, asking questions. I found out a lot of stuff just hanging at the gas station in this little corner store. And we might go up there for a few and just kind of hang out. I get a lot of information like that, just from the locals and the people in this neighborhood, is if you want information, you gotta find where the people are talking at. And that's what we're gonna do, all right? All right, we're at a little corner store out here. This is not too far from where Jake's car was found. Now this little corner store, a lot of the locals like to hang out up in here, stop and get gas. There ain't a whole lot of places around. So this is the little spot to hit. It's called Holly's or something like that. Now I done heard different rumors. Matter of fact, I met the tow truck driver that towed the car inside this gas station. He gave me a lot of information on some things that, you know, about how long the car was there one of the windows was down in the car what was in the car some of the items i've already heard some rumors that he may there's this crazy dude that lives down here like a block up and down in like a with his mama that may know him i've heard all kinds of crazy stuff so i'm gonna do a little digging a little more looking into it um it seems a little crazy right now i'm a little confused at what's going on is this man been kidnapped and that car been dumped or is he just people are swearing they seen him but nobody has confirmed anything as of yet so if i find out something guys i will let you know keep this family in your prayers if he is alive that is great news if he's not and he's really out there you know needing help we need to stay on this all right so like I said, this is the little corner store that, you know, this is the only place to get gas for about, I don't know, 10, 15 miles. So it seems like everybody stops here. Everybody comes in, all the people that live through here. So, and matter of fact, it seems like they talk about him a lot. So you can just go into the store and you'll hear people just standing around talking about the guy missing. Hey, you heard anything about the guy missing? So I was just sitting around listening to people earlier of what they were saying. So I was just hung out in the store just listening and sure enough, there there was. The tow truck driver was there talking about it. Uh, some of the local women around here were in there talking about it. So it's the talk of this little town right here. So first time I've ever been here, pretty wooded area you seen as we drove down back there. All gravel, all heavy, thick woods, like a needle in a haystack for sure. All right, guys.